Welcome to Maybell. Saturday morning. There we be. We're gonna do some motorcycle riding up here today. And do some practicing out on the hills, out around town. Well, good morning, this is Jim. Out here riding on a Saturday. We're just getting near the Maybell Cottage where we're at. And it's probably about 50 degrees here today on April 11th during our little pandemic stay home series. I'm just out riding the bike today and seeing if I can get some practice out on the dirt trails with the uh, WR250. I'm pretty rusty at that, so we're going to ride some dirt and some sand around Maybell here and uh, see what happens. But Anyways, this is a little park out here. Yeah, this is a little park out here that I like to come out to and we kind of a playground Maybell is for me, but this is a nice place to camp in the summer if you're out on a long ride. They got their fees just right over there. I think uh, no electric, 15 bucks a night, put your tent out. It's got really nice showers, the shower house over there, really clean bathrooms, picnic tables, just an ideal place if you're heading for Vernal or if you're heading to Utah period on Highway 40 out of Craig, this is a great place to camp. Actually, it's a great place to ride all over out here, out uh, north of uh, Maybell. has got really soft dirt to practice with, and if you happen to crash your bike, it's pretty soft when you hit the ground. So that's kind of what I like about that place. But a lot of hunters come here in the fall and hang their game out on these trees and these, oh, I don't know, there's a game hangers around along here, and there's swing set, old slide for the kids. But I like this place. It's really peaceful. Kind of windy today, but a beautiful day. But anyways, I'm going to take a few pictures here and catch you a bit later. See ya. Bye-bye. Okay, we're out here north of Maybell, out practicing in the dirt. Sandy, sandy and dirt. Enough for me to get started with. We practice, ride the trails. More sand. I'm just a beginner at some of this stuff, so sand's a little rough for me, but I'm getting practice. stand here. This is the thick of it right down in this stuff. I knew it'd be good to ride because from hunting down here all this sand it's easy on the four-wheeler not a problem you know. There's some deer running over there just across the road on here. Three of them.
Thompson area here. The ridge, good deer hunting. You can sit along this ridge here and just wait. Not far up the cheap trail or anything in this country. Great deer hunting. Now let's continue on up the road. I'm just, like I say, practicing, taking it easy. Want to get from point A to point B. some work. Just taking it easy. I could gun it and get through everything, but I want to see what it's like just putt along trail riding. up there. Well, I saw a big old pile of sand behind me about a half a mile. I'm going to go back there and play in that. But this is down along the Amper River in the Maybell State Wildlife Area kinds of cool stuff over here to play and it really doesn't attract any people to speak other than hunting. Okay I'm in the sand pit here along the river. I guess I'll play in the sand a bit. Not as deep as it gets.
Man, that's work. That is fucking work. Excuse my language. Get out of here. Had enough of that for today. I saw an elk down here across the road. We'll see if we can see the elk or not. There it is, way over there. There's a cow running along the hillside over there. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Look at that. You see all those elk? There they are. Not the sagebrush. they're gonna do here. Like they're gonna circle around. They're wanting to go east out here. What they're doing. Oh well I thought we'd see a lot of them today. Winter Yeah we're out here on County Road 71 right now. Kind of heading northeast to be looping around here. I want to show you that sand rock there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, we're still out here on uh, Road 71. Kind of Getting closer to the Godiva Ridge. We're heading westbound. About the first time I've had the WR and so much dirt country today. Getting a feel for it. There's a camp over there. People out doing social distancing in camp. on up uh, 124 trail now toward the Godiva Ridge. Nice little ride. Run off. 
I got a lot of iron kelp tracks on the road there below me. Critter's been on the road. First gear does a pretty good job of walking up the hill if you want to. There's a 48 tooth sprocket and it's pretty nice for a beginner like me on this stuff. Yeah, they all could have been walking along here. But anyway, just to give you an idea how that first gear works, it just walks right up these trails if you want to walk it, you know, you don't got to go fast. So far today, for the kind of riding I've been doing, I'm pretty sold on the 48 tooth rear sprocket with a 13 on the front. I'm pretty sold on it. Did good in the sand, got plenty of power. Not too much power, but enough power. A little park out here. This Kadayu Trail's out in Moffat County if you guys are interested. It's just, uh, West of Maybell, heading over to Browns Park. I think it's the Highway 380 you can take to get up here. Or just ride north on uh, County Road 19 out of Maybell. A little bit of snow up here. the crash. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. First time for everything I guess. Well it's the first time I've been bucked off the WR. That's what happens when you're gonna climb a hill and you miss uh, miss a gear. I got neutral and that was all she wrote and the way I went. So it's okay. It's nice to pick up versus a KLR in the dirt. WR is a lot easier to do. Anyways, this is uh, Godiva Ridge up here. Pretty soon we'll take a look at the ridge and take some pictures or something. Eat a little bit of lunch. right there.
clean up the bike. Okay. Alrighty, Diver Ridge, guys. Alright, just out looking out east from the Godiva. Beautiful country down below. There's roads down below. I think 71's way down there. And there's a cheap road down at the bottom there. And if you're a good hunter, you can get some deer out of here and some elk. But it does get kind of populated during hunting season. But imagine there's some pockets that they hide. So, what she looks like. And uh, out that way, we're looking out toward Browns Park. Little Snake River's down the valley, and we call that Unit 2 for hunting across the ridge, across the valley there. Got some trophy hunting up in that country. Well, good afternoon. It's about a quarter after two yeah. here on a Saturday. April 11th, and we've been out riding Moffat County out around Maybell and up here on the Godiva Ridge where I had my first spill just a little earlier. But, anyways, I got to park myself under a juniper tree up here on the Godiva and eat lunch and just take it easy. And I just love sitting under juniper trees, some ridge or something, but. It was ideally, I got to get up here. There's not a soul around. They're all up at the sand wash riding up there. And I got all the trails and roads, anything you want to ride up here, and there's nobody here but me. I'm it. <laughs> We're 10 miles. So if you like social distancing, this is it. But I thought I'd take a little time and bullshit with you guys a bit, see what you think. But. I do, I've got a front off to the west, so I'm gonna have to get out of here probably about another 15 or 20. There's some snow or rain moving in from the west, but I don't know how she's looking for traveling this year with the riding, especially the Transamerica Trail, and I don't know if the restaurants are gonna be open this summer or not, or if the motels are. I kinda like to camp two nights and then do a motel the third. You know, every third night I kinda like to do a motel, but I don't know. We'll have to see. And I kind of like to socialize in town, too. I kind of like to do that. So, so I don't know. I'm still looking forward to going. Later, probably later in July, early August. Maybe late, late August, whatever this quarantine thing does. And that damn disease is out of here. If the disease is still around, well, I don't know. I might just do a bunch of camping this summer and call it good. But mainly I'm out to WR to ride the trail that's its main mission and i'm just up here to practice in the day and found out how well that works sometimes <laughs> but anyways this is a cool area i like it and uh, like i said it's just uh out of maybell a little ways here in colorado and it's a great place to relax and uh i don't know what else i can think of here but i'm still at stay at home with my work quite a bit of database programming here last week. I had a lot of time to do that, not being in the office, just sitting in my office at home, so that all worked out well. But I do miss uh, not being able to go out and sit down at a table and eat chicken wings and drink a beer or something. I really miss that. But other than that, I can still go camping, but I know another point I wanted to bring up with you guys of making the Transamerica Trail ride. I guess say I like to camp two nights, what do they call it, boondock hunt, or I, I don't know, just off in a, either my camp like right here up on the Godiva, or, or if I have to have like a forest campground or something, but I understand those are closed right now, and most of the national forests, the campgrounds are closed, so it makes it a little bit tougher when you get into strange territory if you're out riding out of state, knowing where to camp, because I know I don't even think the BLM's going to stay open in their campgrounds much longer either, but that's where I'm at now is in BLM, but um, it makes it quite a bit rougher. Those campgrounds aren't open, let's say, over in Utah or 
Oregon where I'm not familiar with the country at all over there or Idaho I don't I don't know that country worth a darn but uh, I don't know what you guys think but that's making a difference with me if I don't have anywhere to camp or if I really have to struggle to find a campsite on public land in a state that I don't know although there is a website that I use I think it's called freecamping.org or freecamping.net just Google it and look for free camping and it's a really really great website it shows you all the ca free camping places including Walmart parking lots and it's got a, a BLM or public land uh, GIS layer on that website so you can look at the map and then turn on public land and it's going to show you all your free camping so I'd really have to research that before I go to have the free camping so free camping I don't know, it might work out better than uh, the regular campsites being closed, so, and uh, it just depends on how important you guys think it is to travel this summer, and I really hate not doing that, but I suppose I could put in a lot of camping time with my camper too, and just ride the four-wheeler and hang out, but what I understand up here in the Forest Service around uh, Route County here and stuff, you can't even burn your camp stove outside right now and I think there might be some shooting restrictions I'm not sure so hell if I can't even have my jet boil outside to cook with and I'd like to cook outside my camper I don't like cooking in the camper during the summer I just like to go out and cook outside and really the only thing I heat up in my camper is coffee I make coffee in the mornings and that's about it other than that the stove is just a coffee warmer and I do all my cooking outside can't use a camp stove outside, what the hell? I mean, this damn disease crap or this code 19, whatever the hell you want to call it. I just call it a damn disease is what it is. And I don't know how it seems to be real contagious. I begin to think it's airborne similar to pollen because I just can't see how it spreads so damn fast everywhere around the planet. It's just freaking everywhere. I begin to think it stuff maybe going through the jet stream and you can do the self-distancing, it might help, but at the same time, I think there's some stuff like pollen that's in the air, and if you're going to get it, you're going to get it. I don't know. I guess time will tell on all that stuff. It's just hard to say what scientists and doctors are saying today, but it's like the masks. They kind of lied about those, telling you that they're not really good for you, and now they're telling you that they are good, so... I don't know. I might have to get a mask, make my own mask, and have two layers to keep the damn cooties out of my mouth or my nose or whatever so I guess that's about it if you guys can think of anything else or let me know what you thought of my crash today you know one thing about having a GoPro running you can laugh when you're done because you can look at it on video so if there's any reason to buy a GoPro for a motorcycle that's it right there you can watch your wrecks and kind of laugh about it but I just experienced gravitational pulls what I call it just couldn't hold the bike up and down she went so anyways enjoy the Godiva country these beautiful juniper trees out here I don't know about the ticks the flies are out the flies are out right now the ticks are probably crawling around too but they're not so bad up here so anyways guys I guess uh, we'll catch you next week and if you watch the video we're just going to be cruising around the county here around the Godiva. We're going to head on down toward uh, 21 Road and go out the highway, I think 380, and figure out what we're going to do from there. You know me, it's hard for me to go home on a Saturday because I, I can ride all day on Saturday and I don't have to go to work tomorrow, Sunday, so I can just relax and screw around. That's what it's all about. So anyways, guys, take care. See you later.
going to try it second. I could have gone up in first, I guess. Some snow. Looking down at the bottom of the Godiva. Beautiful country down there. There you go. That's what it's all about up here. Get a good look at that country down there. All the way down there. 